really just don't get no better than this. We just wake up in the morning and piss excellent. What's up guys, back over here at Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems. Got the man himself. We're gonna be installing an anti-roll bar in the vent. Got a whole bunch of parts over here on the ground. And we're gonna make all this nothing into something. So we've got some arms right here. We've got some of these brackets. Those are gonna weld to the frame. Got these bearings. What we kind of decided to do was, is we already had this crossbar here that connected the two four link brackets together and it was hollow. This is a piece of tubing. So we took some solid one inch cold roll and slid it through so it's actually not even welded in right now. He's gonna weld this in on each side and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the bracket coming off each end and we're gonna have the anti-roll bar welded onto the frame up here with the arms hanging off this way and the linkage coming down and then connecting to this new bar that we got going through. Did get one of the coilovers installed. We got the other coilover we gotta get installed too. All that stuff's coming up. As soon as we get all this stuff done, we're gonna be ripping everything out from underneath the rear end. We're gonna rip the whole suspension and everything out, send it to powder coat, get it powder coated. Then when we get it back, it'll be pretty much ready to go. Got all the studs put in the housing. So it's ready to put the third member up in there. But anyways, we're gonna get to it guys. So enjoy the show. Well, that thing is full of fabricator. He's sitting over here on his phone, watching it cut pipe. Oh, we got a squirter. So he's cutting the bar to length right now. The bar that's gonna go up top. We just did some, some arguing over here about the math. Well I think we got it. So, all right, we cut that to length. Now we got to put these ends on. Put these slide these bars on. He's gonna get all that stuff tacked up, kind of roughed in. Make sure everything lines up right. We also did square the rear end, so everything is square right now. So we know. Do what? I thought you squared it. All right. So here's the moment of truth. We slide those ends on. It's supposed to be 28 from center to center. Oh, you look short. <laughs> it does look short. Come on, put it in the hole that the people see. Did we do good? Oh, hold on. It's really not hard math, but we were worried about it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> What's up, guys? Back over at Taylor's again tonight. Uh, working on a few things on the vet. As you can see, he got the coilovers completely mounted up while I was gone. Finished welding that shock tab up on this crossbar up here. Trying to make a flat, smooth surface to weld everything for the anti-roll bar on. So, got a little bit more grinding to do up here. Get this lip off. Yeah, get straight to it. Make sure you got your safety glasses on. Gonna need both these eyes to go fast. Can't go fast with just one of them. So, I'm already handicapped enough. I don't need to be missing another eye. The music will take me places. Put the brown bottle to my lips now Yeah, I'm gonna drink this shit until I pass out And this is shit I promised that I'd never touch But this brown cup, I just can't get enough And if this all goes well, now what will happen to me? And if I... Alright, so as you can see now, there's a nice smooth surface So now he can weld to So on each side, we're gonna weld tabs for the anti-roll bar. And the anti-roll bar is going to have arms that come off this way, come down, and then it's gonna have a bracket that comes off of this bar. And this is just a piece of solid tubing going through this, this hollow piece of tubing right here. We're gonna weld it up on each end, put some brackets coming off of this right here, going up to the anti-roll bar. That should make for a plenty solid enough anti-roll bar for this car. It's plenty wide, uh, all the tubing's plenty thick. It's gonna be perfect for our setup. Man, this thing just looks great with the coilovers in there. Guys, this is a prime example. Be careful who you pull up next to. You never know what they're packing. Hey, pull that grill off. Let's look. This thing, she thick, boy. Got a sneaky sneaky. Bright light. One more piece of the puzzle in the car. It's not fully in there, but 
everything is real close to where it needs to be. All I gotta do now is uh, build the tabs coming off this solid bar, weld that solid bar up, and uh, weld these arms up in place, finish weld everything out, and put the linkage in for the anti-roll bar, and it'll be done. That's what you call high quality brainstorming right there. We set up here for about, to be honest with you, we've been sitting up here looking at this rear end, we figure out how we we're gonna put the anti-roll bar in, and we forget. Yeah, we forget. <laughs> we come back the next. We come back the next day, or it come back from the top end fab where we got the cage done. We're like, how are we gonna do that anti-roll bar again? Oh, yeah, we don't remember. So we came up with another idea this time, and that's how all this, you know, is kind of taking shape. And I'm not gonna lie. I think I think this is definitely by far the best route we could have taken. It's gonna be nice and strong. It's gonna be up high and out of the way. It's definitely turning out really great. It's tips, bro. <laughs> we were just sitting here talking about this and I realized TJ's truck actually has any roll bar that Taylor put in. So I was just gonna show you all, you know, for the people who don't know, what an anti-roll bar is and what it does. So you have, you know, your tabs on your rear end right here and you have the anti-roll bar, it's welded, um, it's fixed to the frame, but it actually rotates. So this is keeping the, the body from rolling. Whenever it leaves the line, there's torque, torque, it moves one way. So it wants to pick the front of the car up or truck in this instance up one way. So if you put the anti-roll bar, it ties this side of the frame to that side of the frame. So if it picks up, it picks up smooth and straight and it just, it leaves straight. That's the whole purpose behind the anti-roll bar. And uh, it's very, very important to have one, especially on high horsepower applications. If you ever seen a drag car leave the line and it does a one tire wheelie with one in the air and the other one's still touching the ground, it's because it doesn't have any roll bar. But I think that's going to be it for tonight. All right, what's up, guys? We are back at Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems for the last time in this video. Oh, God, we have a beautiful C5 vet pulling up. This sounds amazing. Okay, that's why I love coming over here. There's always some cool shit. So we are back here finishing up the last few things for this video. We're going to be dropping all the suspension out and I'm going to get it powder coated so y'all have something big and nice and pretty to look forward to on the next video. The suspension parts are going to be powder coated, be fresh clean and just beautiful looking. Hopefully, I hope it turns out great. And also got an even bigger surprise for you after that. Keep watching. Hit the subscribe button. That makes sure you get those dings for these videos coming in because me and Poga have a huge surprise for y'all. Oh look, another red Corvette pulling in. Man, there's just cars on cars on cars here. All right guys, let's check it out. Back to flipping and faded in the boy. While he was at work today, he said he made that. <clears throat> Nah, nah, it was on my lunch break. He made a design file, so he's smart with his computer shit, apparently. So he made a design file for these brackets we need for the any roll bar. Check that out. That's sweet. So he got a few tricks up his sleeve. He's got a plasma table, so we're about to cut this, cut these brackets out, get them welded up over there on the uh, the old vet, and we'll have a whole any roll bar system. We'll have any roll bar system that's complete. table that way it'll be cutting all the way through this what is that quarter inch yeah quarter inch we ain't got no slow ass cars we got that slow ass internet over here at taylor's insane turbo systems hey that's gonna be a Strong any roll bar, boy. You got to get this thing perfectly level, guys. So whenever you're working on stuff this precise, you have to take all precautions to make everything as level and straight as possible. You can't be, uh, you know, just guessing it. As you can see, we are professionals and uh, really just don't get no better than this. We just wake up in the morning and piss excellence. And it's not precise enough for you? What if you stack this box? on top of that box. We can put this box. Here, I'm just gonna cut some slices off. Oh.
TV on everything, we can hear everything and do it all in one, one try. We all make mistakes. All right, trial and error, run number three. Here we go. Scene one, take two. Always some bullshit. Scene one, take three. <laughs> Bet you we get it done tonight, though. Got all our brackets made so we can slide those onto that bar underneath the vet, get those cleaned up first, and get them welded on. Check my boy out. Look, hold on. It might have took us a few tries, but damn it, we got a nice, good looking product here. Now, hopefully, I measured it right. Tighter than Dick's hat band. What does that even mean? Tighter than what? Dick's hat band. Dick's hat band? Yeah, I, I grew up in the country and everybody always said it's tighter than Dick's hat band. Like, I don't know if it's is like. Dick a person? Or I, I guess a, Dick is a person. A Dick's. No, I think it's band. Dick's no, hat band. Talking, I really don't think so. I really think Dick is a person. That's why I thought it was okay to say it. Okay, I think Dick is a person. Dick, if you're watching this, what does this mean? <laughs> please, please elaborate. If you're watching it, please tune in. Elaborate. No. Hey, please elaborate. Elaborate. Whoa, oh, hold on, know. hold on. Man, I didn't even, I just now looked over at this. That looks great. Check this out. Okay, cool. Check this All out. Right. So whenever, whenever that's mounted, that's gonna like match your intake back there and everything. Yeah. All right, despite all odds, we got all the brackets cut. Got bracket here. He already has these couple of brackets over here. So we got our hive joints on there. Hive joints here too as well. Get over there, cut them jewels. And then we'll have everything that we need to go ahead and get this all tacked up. I think he's gonna finish weld it on the bench. So we can get it all tacked up, get it, get it in place. And then pull everything out, let it finish well, everything up on the bench. All right, so got one of them tacked up. What is that thing? What is that called? Link? Got one ARB link tacked up, ready to be fitted in the old roulette vet. It's a little warm there, sir. A little warm. A little warm. It's not like it's just come off the welding press or anything. Welding table. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so we have the anti-roll bar. It is fully in the car now. Uh, this side still needs to be tacked up, um, but this side is already tacked up. He's gonna wait till he gets it on a bench to make sure everything's square and get everything finished welded out. So at this point, we can take the rear end and stuff out of the car, get it on the bench, get everything finished welded out, and then we're gonna get this bad boy over to powder coat. So yeah, pretty excited. Have a full Fab 9 straight axle Corvette. Everything is completely done. Only thing we're lacking is the wishbone. Uh, chassis Engineering is gonna send us the wishbone all prefab, so we're not worried about that. It's coming in a few days. Thank y'all for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like what you saw. There's gonna be plenty more action where that came from. Here in a few months, we're gonna be racing this thing. Hopefully setting some records. Who knows? So guys, thank you for all the support. Till next time.